but people going by, kids going to school, parents dropping off their kids, tons of doors slamming. It's a little overwhelmed, so we're taking a little break. Ready to go? All right. Okay. Can we go past the school? This way? Can we go this way? Good. He has a really hard time sitting still. So. Before we go back in, they were practicing on the driveway where we're close enough to home and things have quieted down enough that he's not likely to encounter a bunch of triggers right here. Good. He is doing a lot of that. Another circle. Uh huh. This is part of it, finding ways <clears throat> to introduce small amounts of discomfort. Very nice. Not fully calm. I'm going to wait another couple of seconds and then we'll go in. That's what I was looking for. I need ways to make him a little uncomfortable to push his boundaries just a little bit and then help him through the discomfort to success at the other side. What that does is it teaches him that discomfort is not a reason to shut down or panic. It's just, it's just something to work through. Good, almost got a yawn there. Let's see if we can get one more. Mm -hmm that also builds a lot of confidence because then he trusts himself or he knows that he is capable of dealing with difficult things, dealing with discomfort and being okay at the other side. We're gonna get a little bit of engagement, and then we're gonna go in. Uh -uh. And we're gonna play because he is quite stressed. We did have a stressful walk just now. Way too many cars. Too much noise. <gasps> there! What a good boy! Come back! Good. Okay, we can go now. There. <laughs> oh, did you get it? Oh, you're so good at that. You're so talented. What a smart boy. <laughs> It's like a pounce on it. Pretend he's hunting things in the bushes. <laughs> oh, man. 